Hello. Hi, everyone. Good morning. As part of the today's lecture, we are going to study a brief overview on a real-time project. So it means whenever you are working on an any organization, from where the project will get started, how the requirements looks like, what are all the activities you will do after getting the requirements and all those things, step by step, we are going to see as part of these series of lectures. It will take a few sessions for me to complete this particular topic. Each and every session, we are going to cover certain key points in a particular lecture. As part of the today's session, you know, I'm going to give you a brief overview on few requirements for our application. So the first point here, Surendra, which application we are going to study? So www.lebi.com. So lebi.com is the application that we are going to consider as a real-time project for us. Immediately, a quick question that comes in your mind, Surendra, as you are saying that uh, lebi.com, can we get an access to test this particular application? Of course, I'm going to host this application on a different servers and I'm going to give you access for this application, which you can test it from your end. So I will list down the requirements. I will explain the requirements and then I will show you how to write down the test cases. And then I will show you how exactly you can test this application and the same application credentials even I will be sharing with you all. So it means it's a kind of a real-time application that you guys are going to work along with me within this series of lecture. With that note, let's get started. So whenever you are going to work on any particular application, the most important thing that we should know is what is the business line? What are we going to achieve from this particular application? As you all know that, Lebby.com, which is a learn by yourself, is a platform where in which we are offering all QA videos at effective prices. This is what the business line is. Just like a Udemy e-learning platform, even our Libby is also an e-learning platform where in which we are offering different sets of QA courses starting from 50 rupees. That's what the business line is. So for this particular application, we have a different sets of requirements. From all those requirements, as part of the today's lecture, I'm going to give you a high-level overview on a student requirement. If at all, a student is visiting that lebby.com. So what exactly the key requirements that work for this application? If you can see, the module is a student and the requirement description is a home page. So it's an application home page. So on the libby.com, okay, on the libby.com, how exactly the home page should display will be discussed as part of this requirement. If you can see, it should display a header. There is some slider menu and all these things should display in a header. See here, there is some header and there is some uh, slider menu. All these things are displaying within this header itself. And of course, a banner with all the updates. If you can see here, these are the different sets of uh, banners that we have on this application. And every banner is giving some key updates. If you can see this particular one, the upcoming features, the course completion certificate we are going to publish. The another feature is 24 by 7 support we are offering for this. So these are all the various features that we are showing as part of a banners. Our trending courses, top testing courses, and a free courses are the three different categories. If you can see, our trending courses is the category where in which you can see a different sets of courses out over there. And the top testing courses, again, it's a category where in which the different sets of courses are displaying. And below that, the free courses is in another category where in which the different sets of free courses are being displayed out over there. And the next one is about us with an image. 
if you can see that this is talking about about us with a brief image and if you click on this one it's gonna navigate to an about us screen and the next one is testing courses 24 by 7 access and specialized courses again a subsection is there if you see testing courses 24 by 7 access and the specialized courses section is there become an instructor apply for courses see here become an instructor and apply for a courses or register as a student and below that there are some testimonials and at the bottom there is a photo if you can see that photo and there are some testimonials as well user reviews or a user feedbacks so it means what exactly this requirement is stating means as a student if i open the libby.com on the home screen these are the various options that it needs to display so we have a broken down all the things into an individual chunk here so the home page contains a header banners three different categories and then about us and some options followed by a user feedback and at the bottom there is a photo so this is what a complete home page requirement needs Perfect. Immediately, another question that comes in our mind. Surendra, as you are showing the requirements here in this particular Excel file, is this the same case that we can access the requirements in a real world on an Excel file itself? So the answer is a no. In the real world, whenever you are working on your projects, they are going to use a different sets of project management tools and of course all the requirements will be placed on that project management tools in our training program we have seen zira as a complete project management activities where in which our requirements will be there on zira itself Okay, so in the next session, I will show you how exactly we can move these requirements to Zira. I'll show you that particular piece. And then if you move on to the second requirement for a particular user, home page header navigation. On a home page, basically, there is a header. On a header, there are a different sets of options are there. I just want to cross check whether all those things are navigating to an appropriate screen or not. For suppose, if I click on a login, so whether it is a navigating to the sign in screen or not, this is an appropriate screen, whether it is navigating to the appropriate screen or not. And there is a logo. If you click on a logo, whether it is navigating to the home screen or not, these are a different sets of navigations. And on a home page, header screen basically, whether these navigations are working properly or not, to check that there is a one particular requirement. As a student, you can verify that. Of course, there are a different sets of options are there. All those options, appropriate screens, is it navigating or not? We are going to cover as part of this particular requirement. So guys, what I'm trying to explain as part of this today's lecture means if a student open a libby.com, what exactly the possible scenarios a student can perform? So here, the first one is a home page content. The second one is a home page navigation. And the third one is a home page sliders. So whenever a student is on this particular screen, whether these sliders are being changing or not for a frequent interval of time or not, whether all the slider updates are being populated or not, that comes under an another requirement. Our testing courses, our trending courses, top testing courses and a free courses are another sets of requirements basically whenever your student open this application whether some stuff is being displayed under the individual categories or not we need to verify and later the next one is course details page from a home screen if at all I am on a, any other categories, whether I am on our trending courses or a top testing courses or a free courses, if I choose any course, whether it is navigating to the appropriate course details screen or not, we need to verify the complete course details is being populated or not. This is saying as a one requirement. 
So immediately, few questions that comes in our mind. Surendra, you are explaining requirement by requirement. But what is a requirement? Right. So what exactly a requirement is? Let me give you an example. So I went to a mobile store, basically. Okay. I went to a mobile store. And my requirement is I want to purchase a mobile under 20K and it's of a Samsung mobile. So here requirement means what is your need? The similar way for this particular website. See, Surendra is the one who designed this particular website and Surendra is the person who is hosting the various sets of courses on this Libby.com. So he has a few sets of requirements in his mind. Like, I want my website to display like this. I want my website to have a, these many categories. I want my website to work like this. So all these are requirements. If you know the requirement, then only you can test that application in an effective way. Another best example for this one is, see, you went to a mobile store and you are not sharing your requirement to the salesperson in the mobile store. So he don't know what is your budget, what exactly you need from that store and what exactly the brand you need. If you are not sharing this information to the salesperson on that particular store, how come they will help you? The similar way, if a person who is testing that particular application, if he don't know anything about a customer and what they are going to work and what they have developed, how can he test that particular application? That's the reason every tester before starting a testing, basically, they should know more details about the customer first followed by an individual requirement, what exactly their organization is developing. That's the point that I'm explaining right now. So I'm just explaining about the individual sets of requirements. And on a home screen, there is a search functionality which we are considering as a one requirement. Once after you perform the search operation, it will navigate to the next screen. There you are going. Uh, there you can apply a filter which is going to be in another requirement. And the search results page. See here on this particular screen. Here I'm searching for Swift. Just an example, I'm searching for Swift here and I clicked on a search button. This is the search results that's being displayed. There is a nothing that we have on this particular screen with this keyword. If I navigate back and if I search for Selenium again, okay, if I search for Selenium, okay, search for Selenium here, the search results are being displayed. If I click on any particular course, the course details screen is being populated. Okay, the course details screen is being populated. So here up to this one, this is 11th requirement, the course details screen. If you click on any particular search result, the course details screen should display. So up to here, these are the 11 sets of requirements that we have for a particular student. Okay, these are the 11 sets of requirements that we have for a particular student. So in the next session, I will explain about a few more requirements followed by we will jump on to Zira and we will see the complete process in Zira guys. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.